Hello, this is Migi Lopez. Um, we are all faced with a challenge of being able to communicate with our families when English is not their first language. There is a wonderful app that I'd like to share with you today that you can use to communicate with your families regardless of the language that is spoken at home. And this app is called Talking Points. And it's usually a paid service, but now that we are going through this COVID-19 crisis, they have made it available uh, free uh, for anyone who would like to use it. So I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up and how to use it to communicate with your students and with their families. So let's go ahead and move on to the steps that we've got to follow. We're going to cover, you know, first of all, what it is, um, how you download the app. I'm going to give you the link for it, how to set it up and how to use it to communicate with your parents and with your students. So first of all, what is Talking Points? Talking Points is a free, as I said before, multilingual communication app. Uh, that you can use to communicate with your students. It has more than 100 languages. And the beauty of it is that once you set it up, your students receive a message and they receive a phone number that is not your own, but that is connected to yours. So you'll be able to maintain um, your phone private. You'll be able to communicate to write messages in English and they'll receive them in whatever language you select. Uh, for the student, and when they, or the student or the parent responds in a language other than English, you receive the message actually uh, translated uh, for you. So uh, let's first go through um, how do we go ahead and download uh, the app. You, I uh, have linked here the um, link to receive the app for Androids as well as for iPhones. I'm also going to put it down in the description so that you can get uh, the link from there as well. So let's go through the steps. So the first thing that you are going to do is download and open the app. When you download it, um, I am actually using an iPhone. So for me, it looks like this. I would imagine that for Android, it looks somewhat similar. But um, when you download it, you'll see it'll say talking points, connecting teachers and parents for student success. And then you have an option. And the option is to sign up. Um, and you can put in um, your phone number, whatever information you'd like, or you can sign up with your Google account. And that's what makes the most sense. You can sign up with your school's um, Google account. So, and that's exactly what I did. So I clicked on sign up with Google. And once you do, a uh, menu comes up, a window comes up that gives you all your Google accounts. I have left two of mine there so that you could see that came up. Um, and I went ahead and selected my school uh, account. And then the next um, window that opens has you sign up to your uh, Google uh, email accounts. So it's whatever password you set up for your uh, email, you go ahead and put it in and we're ready now for the next step. So the next step brings you to a window that looks like this one. You'll see that it says talking points and then it says tell us about your class. So that's where you go ahead and you enter your full name and the name that you want to appear uh, for parents and students when you communicate with them. So I gave you an example, uh, Mrs. or Mr. So-and-so. In this case, I just put Smith, but it's up to you. When they receive a message, it's going to say this message is from, and whatever you put in is what they are going to go ahead and see. In the field that says school name, once you click on it and you start typing, it's going to give you um, it's going to come up and search for schools. They already have a listing of all the schools. So once your school name comes up, you click on that uh, to select your school. The next uh, two fields are for role, your role, you know, as a teacher or a specialist, whatever it is, you click role. And then uh, the next thing you do is select your grade. Um, so 
uh, that's that. Once you select your grade, then you click on continue and we're ready on for the next step. So once you do that, you're basically all set. Now the next thing you get prompted to do is to go ahead and start adding uh, contact information. So you're going to see a window like the one that says here, you can now communicate with all your families in their home language. And it lets you know that you're able to send not only just a text message, but you can send pictures, um, and you can set office hours, schedule messages. You can send videos as well. You can also do a poll. So you can ask a question that has options and the students can, can um, select the options that you provide. So let's go on to the next uh, step. So now how do we use it to communicate with students and parents? Well, once you've got your setup, the next thing uh, you're going to do is you're going to see a window like this one that says um, you're going to click on the window that says get started now and it brings you to a window that looks like the one here in the middle you're going to click on add contacts and they give you several options you can invite by code you'll get a code that you can send in messages um, if you want to send for example an email and add the code you could do that uh, for the purposes of this example, I simply selected Add Contacts. It also lets you add contacts um, from your phone book. Um, and uh, like I said, for this example, I selected Add Contacts. And once you select Add Contacts yourself, you'll see a window like the one that you see on the right, where it gives you, for example, there it says Add Contacts to Miggy's class. Um, and then uh, you type in the student name. Uh, the contact name. So the contact name would be the parent um, of the guardian. And then you select the relationship, whether you say it's the mother, the father, um, or so on. And then the language. Language is very important because your messages will be translated into whatever language you select here for each student. And then the next thing you put in is uh, the student phone number. And basically, once you do that, it prompts you and it asks you if you want to add another student. Uh, for this example, I just added one student. Um, but for you, obviously, you would go ahead and add all of the students in your class. And then you're set to go. You can then click on send your first message. And once you go ahead, and by the way, once you have your class set up, you're going to see a window like this. This is Miggy's class. And it'll say how many students you have there. You can click on send um, messages. And then once you click on send message, you're going to see that you have an option to send it to everyone. You can choose if you want to send it to just one student or to everyone in the class. And then you compose your message. You can, as I said before, you can add a video or a picture. Um, and you can add, uh, if, you, if your message is a question, you can then add options um, that they can select from. If you want to do like a multiple choice uh, type question for uh, your students. And um, once you compose your message, you click on send. And once you hit send, they're going to receive your message translated in whatever language you selected. Uh, for them. If they go ahead and write to you in, uh, let's say the parents respond to you in their language, the message that you're going to get back is going to be in English. So you can see how useful this uh, tool actually is. When the students receive their first message, they're going to get the following two messages included. Um, exactly as it says um, there, obviously with the information uh, with your particular name and school. But I, I did a sample message and what I saw is this. Hi, this message is from Mrs. or Mr. So-and-so from Havistro Elementary School. That's the school that I used as a sample. Say this number to receive updates from school about, and then it'll add um, the student's name. You can respond to this message to communicate with me. Use this free application, and then they get the link to see more. To stop receiving messages, respond goodbye, and then after that, the message that I composed um, actually appeared. And it's as simple as that. So again, I hope that you find this 
um, useful and um, that um, you're able to communicate with all of your students. It has been a pleasure for me to do this for you. Uh, there is my email if you have any questions, suggestions um, about how we can make uh, this better and more useful for you. Okay, take care.